Sweet Engine's Channel Sales Manager extension, or CSM for short, allows you to integrate your Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central software to an external e-commerce platform. This gives you the freedom to conduct your online business with a popular uh, feature-rich platform such as Shopify or Amazon uh, while still being able to use your ERP system. CSM is embedded directly within your Business Central environment, allowing for a streamlined communication between Business Central and your external platform. Uh, before you can start setting up CSM, you need to activate a trial subscription that allows you to use the extensions functionality. Uh, as part of this process, you must also set up an account with Sweet Engine if you haven't done so already. Now, let's take a look at how you perform these activities. Uh, as we begin this video, I'm operating under the assumption that you have downloaded and installed one or more CSM extensions. Uh, CSM currently offers out-of-the-box integrations to Amazon, BigCommerce, Magento, Shopify, and WooCommerce. While each of these integrations is unique, they all share a common core library. Uh, this and other library extensions are installed into your Business Central environment. Uh, before we can create a Sweet Engine account and CSM subscription, it's necessary to enable communication to your external e-commerce platform for these extensions. Uh, to do this, I want to open the extension management page and locate the CSM extensions that have been installed in Business Central. Uh, you can sort or filter on the publisher column to quickly get a view of the relevant extensions. As you can see, we've installed extensions for Shopify, Magento, and Amazon. Uh, we also have some common library extensions that are shared between all channels. Um, so you, you will always have, regardless of whether it's one, two, or five platforms installed, one Sweet Engine Common Base extension and one Channel Sales Manager core extension. Uh, for all of the extensions you have, you need to choose this configure action to open an extension settings page. Here, you want to select this allow HTTP client request checkbox. You can then close this page and repeat this process for the other extensions. Uh, please note, um, as we continue to add features and functionality to CSM, there is the possibility that more library extensions are going to be included in future versions of the product. Um, depending on when you are viewing this video, you may need to perform this configuration against more than the libraries shown here. Uh, okay, now we've enabled external communication to our e-commerce platforms. Uh, we can create our CSM trial subscription. And this is performed from the CSM setup page. As always, we could find this via search. Uh, as a quick note, CSM includes a dedicated role center that you can enable as I have done here. Uh, if you choose to enable this role center, you can access the CSM setup page directly from it uh, as I'm doing right now. We're prompted to enter registration information for each of our installed platforms. And this is the CSM setup page. This is where you manage your various Sweet Engine subscriptions. Uh, if CSM is your first Sweet Engine application, you need to create an account with Sweet Engine. Uh, to do so, fill in the contact fields on the page. And once you've filled in this information, you're going to choose the subscriptions ribbon and one of the free trial actions. As you can see, I'm provided with free trial actions for each one of my installed platforms, Magento, Shopify, Amazon. Uh, for the purposes of creating a new subscription, it, it doesn't really matter which one I pick. Um, but before 
I go through that process, I want to point out a few things. First of all, note that this CSM customer ID field is blank. And also, you'll notice in this subscription status area, we have separate sections for all of our various uh, platforms that we've installed. And each platform is actually comprised of multiple modules. Uh, this is explained in other uh, videos and documentation. I'm not going to get into what the different modules do here, uh, but you can see that for each one, we have a subscription status, which is currently set to no subscription or trial. All right, now I'm going to apply for my trial and let's pick Amazon. Uh, CSM, or I should say Sweet Engine, uses Stripe for its subscription management. So when this action is executed, a new trial for CSM uh, for Amazon, in this case, is going to be created in Stripe. Um, you can see I'm prompted to enter registration information for my other platforms or that I have. Um, in addition, because our customer ID field was blank and Stripe was unable to find a customer record that matched the values that I inputted here, a new customer account was automatically created. If I close and reopen the CSM setup page, you'll see that the CSM customer ID field is now populated. This is the customer ID that's been set up and retrieved from Stripe. Now, uh, if additional platforms have been installed, as I've done here, I can continue to create trial subscriptions for them. If I return to the subscriptions ribbon, you'll see that the CSM for Amazon free trial option is no longer up there, but we still have ones for Magento and Shopify. So I can, for example, create a free trial for Magento. Now, in this case, the account, the Sweet Engine account has already been created. So that, that piece is already taken care of, um, but the new subscription for Magento is being created in Stripe, and you can see it's being added to this existing account. Uh, one final note, uh, by default, all CSM uh, extensions are offered on a 30-day free trial. You can see how these fields have updated to show the remaining uh, time on the trial. So we have Amazon, we have Magento, we haven't done Shopify yet. You can see we have our remaining time. Uh, if, uh, or should I say, <laughs> when uh, you determine that CSM is the right solution for you, you can activate your trial by choosing the process ribbon and then choosing this go to payment portal action. This opens Sweet Engine's self-service payment portal. Um, as you can see, uh, it presents uh, all of the Sweet Engine products for which we're currently subscribed. You can see we have our Magento options, we have our Amazon options, we have the core option. We don't have Shopify because we never you know, enabled that. Um, here in this payment method area, uh, you would enter or add a payment method, and this would activate your trial. Those trial fields that we saw on the CSM setup page uh, would be updated accordingly to indicate that they are now active subscriptions. Uh, and with that, you're all set with your CSM subscription or subscriptions. Uh, you are now ready to start the process of setting up your CSM sales channels. Uh, the necessary steps to complete this are covered in other Sweet Engine videos. Uh, be sure to check them out. <laughs>